Ladies and gentlemen, uh, at only 19 years old, my next guest is one of the hottest actresses in Hollywood. She has three new movies, including Joyride, which just opened today. Let's take a look. There isn't any girl. Then what's she doing in the other room with your brother? Us. Wait, where's Steve? Yeah, he just called me. Are you, are you, are you, are you, when he called you on the phone? Yeah, just now. He knew you were in here. He's, he's watching us. There's somebody watching us? Yeah, he just called what me. What did he say? He just, he, 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 he said, I thought there was no girl. And then he asked what you're doing in the other room. Okay, Why we're getting out of here. So put on your shoes. I already paid for this room. Just do it. Well, how scared am I supposed to be? Please welcome Lily Sobieski. A man can never assume he's getting both cheeks like yes. that. That was very nice of you. How are you? Uh, good in yourself? I'm doing really well. I'm doing very well. Uh, Joyride, this thing, I've been wa I was watching clips of it today. It looks really creepy. It and is what, really creepy. And what makes it, what I thought is making this movie creepier than a lot of these movies is... Is that Paul Walker and Steve Zahn are naked? What? I didn't see that part. Well, you will Not that I wanted to. to. <laughs> <laughs> Male nudity bores me, but... Uh... That's what I've been told, actually. Yeah, great. No, what, uh, what, what was, uh, they were naked in this movie? Yes, normally you get women that are naked in the film, but in the show you had a naked man as well. So I, I think it's going to be a recurring theme now. We have a lot of male nudity on this show <laughs> for no good reason. But you know, it is true that most people who would see this movie who thought there'd be nudity would probably assume we're going to see Lily Sobieski naked. The two guys are the ones that are naked in this? Yes. How does that happen? Well, they just decided, uh, you know, they both have beautiful bodies and all the women could get a picnic and, and watch the scene and, you know, do what men do. <laughs> right, okay. Yes. Were, you on, were you on set when the other actors were naked? I was, actually. But I decided to be really respectful and I looked away because I felt like I would be a little bit uncomfortable. But there were all the producers were out there and they had picnic baskets and, like, female <laughs> producers and stuff. And right. my mom even showed up on the set that day and came and sat and, and watched. And she saw more than I did. So you intentionally, you, what did you do? You just looked at their faces or, I mean... No, I just looked away. And then, right. you know, I, I snuck little tiny looks. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm trying. laughs> yeah, don't put it that way, yeah. But you, uh, right. but you... They don't want, they don't like that story. No. Um, but you know what I was thinking is that this movie, what seems scary about it to me is that, that, that they're sort of showing you less. Do you know yes. what I mean? That a lot of these movies, they think the, the way to make it scary is to have 50 killers or that much more violence. Here it's got that sort of creepy anticipation of something that's going to happen. Exactly. You don't really see what the scary thing is. You don't know if it's going to breathe fire or have sharp teeth. Or um, it has none of those things. But you, you never really know what it's going to do. It's kind of like, you know, we see you clothed right now, but we don't know what lies ahead. <laughs> At the end of tonight's show, I'll be naked? Exactly. <laughs> Stay tuned, yeah. All right. You were completely unexcited by that. Um, I, I don't know if this is true, mm -hmm. but I read that you collect people's hair. Is that true, or is that I just do. one of those celebrity no, rumors? No, I collect people's hair. I wanted their blood, but I decided to settle for hair because it was less painful. And um, I actually have this ring on today that has hair from, like, 1791. What? But, but it's it? not actor hair. Is it any one, any particular person's hair in here, like Beethoven's hair, or...? No, it's this girl, Juliana Cromwellen, who turned 21, and on her 21st birthday, her parents got her and her three brothers um, rings with their hair inside of it. And I got it at a flea shop, but she's got a birthday in June, and her hair looks just like mine. You're scaring me. <laughs> do you prey on the undead? Um... <laughs> So what do you do when you say you collect hair? Do you, do you ask people, can I have... I mean, first of all, what people? Anybody you meet? Like, if you met someone on the subway or just certain people? Well, people that I work with. But sometimes, like, it's, it's kind of been in the press quite a little bit that, that I collect hair because of the people think that it's strange. And the problem is that in the last two, three films that I've done, I totally forgot to get people's hair because it was almost... I almost talked about it so much that I forgot to actually do it. So I think people were insulted and they'd say, you don't want my hair? 
Right. Oh, because now if you don't ask for it, they think yes. you don't like them exactly. or you don't think they're important enough. Exactly. Do you, what do you, I mean, you try and snip it in a covert way? Are you like, hey, hey, what's going on over there? And do that? Or? No, I asked. There was this one time actually when I was doing Joan of Arc and I wanted Peter O'Toole's hair. And he had this really great assistant who was Sean Connery's assistant, this really great character. And he went over and he just took this chunk that was like that big off of his head, which was a lot, a lot of <laughs> right. hair. Right, that's, not, that's kind of rude. And he it to me and Peter wasn't really looking and I just kind of held it behind my back like this. Yeah, he just took a little tiny piece, just like that, just a little tiny, but it was like, you know, a big chunk of So that's going to be a giant ring yes, for Peter. <laughs> exactly. A bracelet, necklace, <laughs> right. garter it's, belt. It's going to be like a, a hubcap on a car, yes. just filled with yes. Peter O'Toole hair. <laughs> what weird images tonight. Why are we having such a weird night? Well, Joyride, you know, I've read like, I think I read today four, I don't say this a lot, but I, I read like four reviews today and they were all glowing. People really like this movie. It's a really good film. It's directed by John Dahl, who directed uh, Rounders and The Last Seduction. He's an excellent director. Yeah, it's yeah. A, they say it's a re it's really good sort of noir thriller. The Glass House is in uh, theaters now, mm -hmm. and My First Mister mm -hmm. opens next Friday. Yeah, I've got on a black wig, piercings, and tattoos, so that's a little different. That's like my off-screen life. Yeah. <laughs> Like, you know that store that uh, your announcer went into? Yes. Where you got, I kind of worked in one of those stores in the movie. That store, going to the basement of that yeah. store, it blew my mind, the basement of that store. I'm not going to say any more. Go. The cops are probably raiding it at this very moment. Anyway, Lily Sobieski, thanks a lot Thank for being here. Much. It's good to have you. We'll take a break. When we come back, Tom McRae. Stick around.